What I'm gonna show you today is a freestanding plow point shelter that requires no guidelines, no ridge lines. Um, you don't have to tie it off to a tree, it's just totally freestanding. And there's two good things about this shelter. The first is that you can move this anywhere you want around camp. The second option to this is also, it just gives more structure to your shelter itself. So if you're gonna let stuff up long term, or you're gonna set your tarp up in an area that you can and just let it up for a long time, there's a lot of stability in here. Rather than just having a single line holding one of those tie out points, we're actually using the tarp and all the material that the tarp has to offer as structural support. So let's look at how to actually set that up. So this is it, this is the first thing that you have to do and it's just build a tripod. Now this tripod is massive. So when you first build this, you're gonna be like, oh, it doesn't need to be this big, but it really should be to have this just set up properly. Your two uprights that are in the front are gonna be as big as your tarp. So in my case, I'm using an eight by eight tarp. So these are eight foot, so they're pretty big. The cross member that goes all the way back, the third leg of that tripod is double that length. So it's actually 16 foot in length. So there's a lot of lumber here, but it is very eye pleasing around camp. It looks good when it's set up and it's a structure that once you build, just let it up. Our first method is probably the most self-explanatory. We're gonna use this ridge pole and throw our tarp over this in a diamond fashion. So I'm gonna take one of my ends and I'm just going to hold on to that while I throw everything else over that. And um, just a quick tip. What I like to do on my tarps, at least on one end, is I just tie off a piece of rope. And this is good because if you're tying out your tarp and you can't get it to reach the ground, say you're using this with a hammock setup, this is gonna let you reach, okay? Or in a setup like this, I have this rope on here, so I can go right through the middle of my setup, just like this, and pull that up tight. Now I can just tie this off on the top however I would like. Now we're gonna come to the back, and this is probably the most challenging for people, and not in a difficult way, but just to wrap your head around. Because this pole is so long, okay, we need to actually come off to one side. So you're actually gonna pull this at an angle and then stake that out at an angle. That's gonna give us one side of this tarp that's a little bit steeper and one that is not as steep. So now we're gonna stake down both sides and our tarp setup will be complete. Now our first structure is complete. So this is a setup that I very rarely use, but it is something to know for the simple fact that main ridge pole is offering a lot of support and all that fabric's laying across that. So in a lot of snow or a lot of rain, that is offering a lot more support to the tarp than just having it underneath, which we're gonna do next. So this is option number one. Now the second option is what myself and most of my instructors use the majority of time and that's setting the tarp up underneath the structure itself. Take our tarp with that rope that I've tied off and we're just going to put a knot in it. That way it creates a loop at the end of our tarp, just like that, and that loop can go over that pole. Bring this other end back really good and tight and stake that back section in. Now before we do anything else, I'm gonna come to my center tie out and tie this off And then last but not least, we're going to stake out both sides. So now what we've configured is a really nice freestanding plow point shelter. You can see, totally opened up in the front. So between myself and the fire pit, which the camera's actually placed in right now, there's nothing. There's no lines, there's no ropes. All you gotta deal with is these two uprights, but these two uprights actually play a really important role here because we can hang a lot of stuff off of these. And then we can also go ahead and lower this shelter just like this. And all that we need to do at this point then is pull our sides out, or we can open this up more. Again, open up the sides, bring them in a little bit tighter, and it's gonna open up the front for a little bit more airflow. So a lot of different options here, but because it's freestanding, People can walk to both sides of it. They're not tripping over ropes or guy lines or anything like that. So just a lot of different options here. So what I want you to keep in mind with this setup is it's definitely more of a permanent camp type setup. It's something that you're gonna set up around camp and it's just gonna be there. So when you go into camp, you know what type of structure you're gonna set up. Aesthetically pleasing when you come into camp. I mean, it looks good back there in the background. 
just uh, hanging out back there. So it's really cool and it's easy to move around. It doesn't take a lot of work and anybody can set it up. Different things to think about, different options to do. So this was Dan Walker, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. At the end of the day, have as much fun as you can out here. Do things that you love, set shelters up. If they don't work, don't use them. So um, try it out, see what you think, leave in the comments below. And as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.